Hey guys, what's going on? So today I'm going to be doing a vinyl update and review. So this weekend I was actually planning on doing um, uh, my album collection part two, but I never got around to it. So um, yeah, and I just got two records today, so I'll show them to you and I'll review them. So the first record we have is TSOL's first album, Dance With Me. So technically this isn't their first release, their first release is their self-titled EP. I have on CD and it's fantastic and I've, I've wanted this album for quite a while but I've never got around to, got, to getting it and I'm so glad I got it because it's really good so uh, artwork the album cover is um, it has like a graveyard scene really cool looking Grim Reaper and TSOL logo and that's with me on the back we've got really traditional way out for an album so there's a track listing and then you have like pictures of all the members and what does that say uh, producer it's actually on Nitro Records, which is kind of interesting. Alright, so our dust sheet is pretty thick here. I think this is either 180 or 160 gram. I don't know. It's a thick pressing, but I'll get to that. So you got pictures of all the members of the band. And the lyrics. See? Alright. Now, the pressing is really cool. It's, um, it's on like a gray splatter. Let me get it out. Alright. See, it's on kind of like a great, not splatter, but like a swirl sort of, because there's like a little, that little black splotch right there. So yeah, and it looks really cool, and it looks, the label looks like it's on like parchment or something, but it's not, it's just an ordinary label, but it like, kind of looks like that. And so yeah, it's really thick pressing too. I wonder what, how many grams it is. I don't, I don't know, it's either just a really thick pressing, or a 108 gram, or what, but whatever. Anyways, so yeah, so this the music on that album is really good, because it's so like, it's a lot different from their EP, because instead of politically charged hardcore, it's just more like, um, I guess I'd say either like death rock or mm, horror punk, I guess, or I don't know, I don't want to say gothic punk, because that's not an actual thing, really, but sort of like the Misfits, ex yeah, like the Misfits, except um, a little bit more intelligent, like, the very song about B-horror movies on here, like, the only song that's sort of horror-y on here is, um, is Code Blue, um, but... And that's like their most famous song, but everything else on here, the lyrics are actually pretty personal. But yeah, so it's a great album, and um, I really like the, um, John, uh, Jack Grism's vocals on here. But he isn't credited as Jack Grism because uh, he was like on the run from cops or something around the time of the album's release, so he's credited as like I think it says Alex Morgan or something. But yeah, so <clears throat> it sounds really good. The production's great. And I was kind of um, speculating on whether it would sound good on on this particular color pressing, but it actually sounds pretty nice. So yeah, and I don't know, I really like it, and uh, I think it's not as strong as the EP, but it's still like it's like just as good, but it's not as good. If you see what I mean, like it has it's good, it's just as good, but like in a different way. That's what I'm trying to say. Like I like the EP a lot, but I like this one just as much but in a different way so it's not as good in the, as the EP in the way that the EP is good but it's and the EP isn't as good as this is in the way it, the EP is alright so yeah that's kind of confusing but if you think about it you'll understand what I mean alright so next and last record we have is Gorilla Biscuits Start Today uh, this is another band that I have an EP of I have their first EP and now I have their full length album so it's really cool um, uh, straight Edge Youth Crew album, so there's the album cover, the Girl Biscuits logo starts today, and you have like an evolution of like uh, Ape to Manor type thing right here, and a picture of the band life, and then on the back, we've got another picture of the band, track listing, and credits, and the Girl Biscuits logo with that little cape man looking guy, yeah. So, um, this album actually came out, came with some cool stuff inside, well, just two things that are cool, other than the record, so... First off, before I get to all that, there's a little insert for a Revelation Records that has like pictures of like other albums and stuff you could buy. It also has the download code. So yeah, and then uh, t-shirts and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty nice. And then I think in the insert is actually a poster. If it falls out, it won't be able to fit in the frame or I'll move it back. So yeah, so you got pictures of all the members live and the credits for the album and it says start today, roll biscuits. Really cool looking. I really like it. I probably won't put it up though because I want to keep it inside the album. I don't have any space to put it up anywhere. And then on the other side, you've got a lot of lyrics, and the lyrics of this album are really good. All right. And then, 
So now for the most important thing, the record, obviously. So a traditional white dust sheet, and it's on black vinyl. I I do believe this come this could you could get this on the deck of dark blue vinyl, and I was actually expecting that, but it didn't come on dark blue. It's just on black, but I don't know. Who cares? So um, now I'll get to the music. So the album, <clears throat> it's a continuation of the sound that they had on their first album. Except it's a little bit heavier, though. Maybe not metal, but I guess crossover thrash influence a little bit. I like the difference between, um, like, Agnostic, like, Agnostic Fronts, um, Victim in Pain would be a Girl of Biscuits EP. And then this album would probably be, um, I don't know, like, one of the albums after that, like, um, shoot. Um, I forgot the name of the second one. The one with public assistance. Um, shoot, I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, whatever, so, um, I'll remember it later, but, yeah, uh, yeah, it kind of has, not a cross, I'm not saying this is a crossover thrash album, but it just kind of has a heavier, more abrasive, faster vibe to it, and the lyrics are really good, nice and positive, but it's just really great, especially for a youth crew band, and it's probably one of the best youth crew albums out there, right up next to Youth of Today's Break Down the Walls, so, yeah, it's a great sounding album, and I really like it, the production isn't perfect, but it's good. And the band sounds slightly a little more matured than their previous album because they were really young when they recorded the EP. And like, like um, yeah, Siv or C-I-V, I don't know how you pronounce his name, his vocals on the first album, like his voice would crack a lot. And on this one, it, it doesn't do that as much, which is a lot less cringeworthy. So I like this almost as, um, as good. Like, I like this almost as good as the EP, but I just like the EP slightly better because they sound... Uh, on the EP, they sound a little more goofy, and on this, they sound more serious, but I don't know. I like the EP better just because it has a little bit better songwriting, but this is almost as good. It's great. So, yeah, <clears throat> those were the two albums that I got this weekend at Chaos Records. And I really like both of them a lot. And I've wanted both of these albums for quite a while as well. So, yeah, I'll put this away, and then... Alright, finally got that out of the way. Alright, so the two records I got, Girl Biscuits, Start Today, TSOL, Dance With Me. And I would definitely check out these albums if I were you, because I totally recommend them, especially if you like hardcore, Bait Forum. So, I hope you enjoyed my video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.